L does not meet or intersect the line with equation Y equals the mod of 2X minus 9 plus 3, find the range of possible values, okay? Beautiful. So part C was the issue, yeah. Right, very good question. It involves too many things, right? So yeah. part C is your uh, concern. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We normally take questions which students find difficult. The idea is to make them understand the basic concepts and look into strategies which can help solve such questions. In this playlist, we are preparing our student for the final exams at Excel level A. The questions are being shared by my student Amy. I hope their solution will help all. We'll begin with discussion on the question and then I'm going to provide you with complete solution. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss another brilliant question asked by my student, Amy. She is preparing for year 13 at Excel level A exams. The question here is, sketch the graph with the equation y equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3. Stating the coordinates of the vertex and any point where the graph crosses the coordinate axis. Part B is solve the equation. 3x plus 1 equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3. A straight line L has equation y equals to kx plus 1, where k is a constant. Given that L does not meet or intersect the graph with the equation y equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3, find the range of possible values of k. Very important question. And as you find in many of the exam questions, we are working with an equation. We try to understand what it represents. And then related with another kind of equation and then find possible values of k with c system of equations. You get the idea. Let us see how do we solve such a question. Now let us understand how do we graph absolute function. We are given the equation y equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3. The vertex of this equation will be when 2x minus 9 becomes 0. Right? That would be the vertex of this equation. So we could actually write this as absolute value of 2, x minus 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5, right? Plus 3. So we can now sketch the graph. The vertex being at x equals to 4.5, the y value being 3, right? So let us say that is the vertex for us, right? So this will be at x value of 4.5 and the y value of 3. Now, we know that the slope is 2, you could do like this, or you can find the y intercept, which is when x is 0, what is y, right? So when x is equal to 0, in that case, y is equal to absolute value of minus 9 plus 3, which is 12. So, so in that case, the graph will be kind of like this, right? Where this point will be at 12. You get the idea. So that is how you could sketch the absolute value function and in this way you also provided critical information about the vertex this is your vertex right 
which is at 4.53 and then we have the y-intercept clear so that is the way to sketch this particular graph as shown here so we're done the first part now let's look into the second part where we'll try to solve an equation which is given to us as 3x plus 1 equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3. Now the graph really helps us to find the solution. Let's go back to our graph and see how will 3x plus 1 line intersect with the given absolute function. Now you can see clearly that the gradient of the line is much more than that of the absolute function graph, right? So, 3x plus 1, if I draw a line, in that case, it is going to be, let us say 1 is your y-intercept, right? We are looking into the line now. So, if I say 3x plus 1, in that case, this gradient is going to be 3, so which is higher than this gradient, right? So, here 4.5, from 1 to 3, the gradient is how much? We have the height of 2, right? And we are going to a distance of 4.5. So, the gradient, this is much lower. So, 3 will be from here, you go to 4 and 1 place. So, this is going to be very, very high. And therefore, this line will actually intersect only the left part of the absolute function. You see that part? So, what we notice from here, that the graph of the line 3x plus 1 will intersect the absolute function on the left side. So, let's again construct. So, in a way, we figure out that the absolute function is kind of like this and the graph of the line is kind of like this. You get the idea. And therefore, the graph actually intersects only on the left side of the absolute function. So, we can say 3x plus 1 is equal to left side of this will be minus of 2x minus 9 plus 3 because this equation will be minus of 2x minus 9 plus 3 and the right side will be 2x minus 9 plus 3. You get the idea. So, that is how you could write your absolute function. And that helps us to find the solution. So, we can open the bracket and solve for x. Right? That gives you bringing 2x on the left side and 1 on the right side. We get 9 plus 3 minus 1, which is 11. Right? So, we can write this as 5x equals to 12 minus 1, which is 11. And x, therefore, is 11 by 5, which is 2.2. So, at x value of 2.2, it is going to intersect at the graph, right? So, this point will be at x equals to 2.2. You get the idea. Half of, uh, divided by 5, 11 divided by 5, right? So, you can also find the y value. Let's look into the question once again. What do they want? They want you to solve this equation means find the value of x. Correct? So, we get the value of x as equal to 2.2. Now, let's look into the last part of this question, which is a straight line L has equation y equals to kx plus 1 where k is a constant. 
Given that L does not meet or intersect the graph of the slide y equals to absolute value of 2x minus 9 plus 3, find the range of possible values of k. So, we want that this line y equals to kx plus 1, it should not intersect the absolute function graph. Right? That means what? So, if this line, let me just erase this and draw it again. If kx plus 1, 1 is my y intercept, will not intersect this graph, means it is going to go under this. You get the idea. So, you can find maximum slope because k represents what? k represents gradient of the line, right? So, the vertex we found was at, we are looking at the function y equals to 2x minus 9 plus 3. So, this vertex was at 4.5 and x value and y value of 3, right? So, the limiting value of k which gives you this line, that is going to be just touching the absolute function, right? So, what is the value of slope or m for limiting case? So, in that case, we can consider the points, the y value of being 3, right? So, we will consider the points which are 0, 1 and 4.5, 3. So, so, the slope should be 3 minus 1 over 4.5 minus 0 or 2 divide by 4.5. You get the idea. So, y2 minus y1, which gives us the slope, right, helps us to find the value of k. So, we get 2 divided by 4.5 as 4 over 9, which in decimal can be written as recurring value of 4, right? 4 over 9 is a better way to write. So, we have that the k value should be less than this, right? So, we get the idea that k is less than 4 over 9. So, that way, the graph could not intersect this. You get the idea. But, you have to be careful. It could intersect the other half if it is more negative, what could be that, what could be that limiting value? This is what you should again figure out. So, now you can see that the gradient of this side is minus 2. So, the gradient of this should not be less than minus 2, right? So, so k has to be less than this, however, greater than minus 2. You get the idea. Let me explain you this concept once again. So, what we have here is an absolute function whose graph is kind of like this and a straight line whose y-intercept is at 1. So, now the limiting value will be tangential with this particular point, right? So, it should not cross this point. So, I mean, to be more realistic, I would like to sketch this as steeper than this, right? As it is like this, correct? So, that is our limiting value. So, we first found the slope of this particular line. Point here being the x value of 4.5 and the y value of 3. And this point is at 0, 1. So, so the slope of the line which touches the vertex will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is 
3 minus 1 over 4.5 minus 0 or 2 over 4.9 or 4 over 9. So, that gives us one limiting value. You get the idea? The other limiting value is that it should be parallel to this. If it is not parallel and if it is steeper than this, in that case, it is going to intersect some, somewhere. And therefore, we get the value of k which is between 4 over 9 on the higher side and minus 2 on the lower side. So, that is very critical to understand. So, I hope you understand this particular step. In case you have any questions, feel free to post your questions. And in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. I hope now, you can answer such questions and apply the strategies learned. Thanks for your time and all the best.